Starting off CNC break number. I'll actually do the break. It's 14,107. The Monster. Perfect. I appreciate that. 9 5 Young Guns. Colin Greening. 9 5 Young Guns. 9 5 Young Guns. Brendan Lemieux for the Jets. And we got a graded 9 Philip Schlappick for the Ottawa Senators. Blue Synergy Rookie. Columbus has broken your lining. Yeah, he's uh, he's struggling a bit right now, isn't he? He's he's struggling a bit. We've got a milestone for the Hawks of Eddie Balfour. Nine ninety nine for the Red Wings, Dominic Hasek. For the Dallas Stars, Jamie Ben, blue. Do you think eight feet? Do you think you kind of have like a fragile personality? We've got a marquee rookie of Taylor Lear for the Flyers. As in, like when he's down, he just kind of quits on himself. Game jersey for the Anaheim Ducks, Stanislav Shistov. And we've got a clear cut base for the Sharks, Martin Jones. Martin Jones. And a Netminders gold number to 50 or orange, whatever this is, Braden Holtby for the Caps. Or net defined defender, sorry. Out of 50 prism. Braden Holpe. So what are they talking about in terms of like him coming back? Like in the off scene, like he'll just come back in. Spectrum FX for the Dallas Stars, Jamie Ben. Tage Thompson to $9.99 for the Blues, Rookie Premieres. Orange, partial color blindness does not help me on those colors. Short print rookie of Trent Frederick for the Boston Bruins. And an orange slice to $1.99 for the Red Wings, Philip Zadiner. Zadiner? Zadina. That's a nice one. Orange Slice Rookie Zadina. I was reading the Dreamers and I had Zadina apparently in the Dreamer. That's what happens when you try to read and break. It's a deadly combo. Well, is his contract up this year? Is Liney's uh, contract done? Dazzlers Green of Larkin for the Red Wings. Portrait of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. What do you what do you think his next contract should be then? Like how do you judge that right now? Tyler Benson, Young Guns for the Oilers. What price do you pay Line A right now? In all honesty, what number does he command?
Canvas of Duchesne for the Reds. RFA. Pi RV Young Guns Anniversary for the Oilers. Victory Rookie of Wingles for the Sharks. Base. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Bobby Orr Hockey Heroes for the Boston Bruins. Kunitz for the Penguins. Anniversary. Bob Flynn for the Jets. Victory. He's going to be an interesting one, honestly. Because, like, if you're paying him a lot of money, you're paying him on potential, not his actual current, like, how he's doing. Victory of Nidamaki for the Sharks. Young Guns of Nick Bonino for the Anaheim Ducks. Victory Rookie of Fowler for the Ducks. So then let me ask you, if it's another bridge deal five or six, how do people honestly sit there and say the Nylander deal is that bad? Flyers, uh, Carcillo, anniversary, and a victory rookie of Robin Leonard for the Sens. Does Nylander not look like an absolute steal now compared to Line A? We've got a Morin for the Hawks. And again, I only mean the current, the current Line A, not what it was. Victory of Colby Armstrong for the Leafs. Because I still think deep down inside, Line A is still a 50 goal scorer at one point to me. He is too damn good not to be. Culture on the here. Marky rookie for the Flyers. Connor bottom in the blue variation. Portraits rookies of Libor Hayek for the Rangers. Young Guns Buffalo Sabres. Rasmus Asplund. Canvas of Domi for the Habs. Portrait of Lazat for the LA Kings. I would have said, Jeff, that would have been back in the day, I would agree with you. Last 10 years, not so much. Canvas of Voracek for the Flyers. Veranu Young Guns for the Ottawa Senators. And a Marky Rookie of Costin for the uh, Blues. We got a Sandine Glossy for the Leafs. Hanola for the Jets, gold. And a Gusev for the Devils. Best contract on the Leafs, Hyman, probably, if I had to say my opinion. And technically, again, I know this is kind of going a bit outside, but I'd say Campbell. Right now is a pretty damn good deal, but I would personally say Hyman. Riley would probably be my second best contract.
Canvas for the Anaheim Ducks of Getzlaff. Young Guns of Adam Jones for the Ducks. Portraits of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. So do you agree with that eight feet or do not agree with that? Or are you just simply asking? Young Guns, Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes. Nice stuff, Vancouver. Oh, you're checking salaries. What What is Hyman at right now? Canvas for the Red Wings of Bertuzzi. What's up, Mr. Golden? How you doing? Texier for the Blue Jackets. Gold Glossy. Trent Frederick. Boston Bruins. Anna McCarr for the Avalanche. Two and change for... Yeah. And how many more years does he have? Is he one more year, two more years? Doing well. Thanks, Golden. Happy Easter. One more year. So I, I presume Hyman will be around the four or five million after. Messier red for the Rangers. Fisher blue for the Coyotes. Exceptional talent of Dubois for the Jackets. Gerard for the Avalanche Red rookie. Tim Heed for the Sharks Green. Career spanning Oilers Rangers. Gretzky. Dre Seidel for the Oilers Red. Heedle Green for the Rangers. Impact players for the Sens. Carlson. Carlson for the Ottawa Senators Red. Dabrinka Red rookie for the Hawks. Anna Martin Nietzsche, newcomers for the Canes. Nylander, red rookie for the Sabres. Blue of Ekblad for the Panthers. Impact players of Matthews for the Leafs. Crosby, red for the Penguins. Kucherov, Tampa Bay, uh, blue. Exceptional town of Sveshnikov for the Red Wings. Carey Price for the Habs Red. Tage Thompson Blue for the Blues. Impact players of Keller for the Coyotes. Bjork for the Boston Bruins Red Rookie. Messier Blue for the Rangers. Career spanning Avalanche Joe Sackick. Best. Chase DeLeo, Young Guns for the Jets. Canvas for the Carolina Hurricanes of Rask. No, it's fine. I got it. Warinsky, Retro Rookie for the Jackets. Have a good night. Ciao, ciao. Have fun. Absolutely. Thanks, time. Portraits, rookies of Miles Wood for the Devils. 
Shane Harper, Young Guns, for the Panthers. I don't think, again, maybe I'm just talking to different Leaf fans. I don't think a lot of Leaf fans crapped on Riley last year. Jamal Smith, Young Guns, for the Dallas Stars. Bo Horvat, Vancouver Canucks, Canvas. Marky, rookie of VC for the Rangers. Retro rookie of VC for the Rangers. I would be shocked if anyone wanted to pay line A 10 million. Honestly. Marky, rookie of Tyler Mott for the Hawks. That is way too much to gamble on line A. Program of Excellence, Dylan Strom. Still in strong. Coyotes. Portrait rookies of Beauvillier for the Islanders. Was that last year when he had that crazy streak? Casey Nelson, young gun for the Buffalo Sabres. Not gonna lie, that seemed like a so much longer ago. Portrait rookies of Carlo for the Bruins. That's crazy. Back is for the Boston Bruins. Steven Johns for the Dallas Stars, Young Guns. You don't think Line A at $10 million a year locked in for eight years is a gamble? Stroh Markey rookie for the Coyotes. Markey rookie of Zaitsev for the Leafs. Canvas of Shen for the Flyers. Tanev Young Guns for the Jets. Portrait Rookies of Pontus Aberg for the Preds. And a Marky Rookie Rainbow for the Oilers of Paul URB. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm old, like I'm the only one thinking opposite of that eight feet, but I feel like that's exceptionally too high for line A at this current time. I I would be again. I would be utterly stunned if someone paid that amount. Young Guns for the Caps. I never said Nylander or Marner was too much. I was on the train right away. Portraits of Getzlaff for the Ducks. I was always on the train that Nylander's contract will get better as time goes and it's not as bad as everyone's making it out to be. I always defended that Nylander deal. Marner, I, I don't mind the deal. I just think he's greedy. So I actually don't mind the deal for the player that he is. I just thought he was greedy. Zamula for the Flyers. But if, in my opinion, you're basically almost a million dollars less than Marner. And that's way too much for Line A. Crosby for the Penguins portraits. Portraits rookies of Martin Cott for the Avalanche. I definitely think Marner or Line A is more than five mil. Joseph Young Guns for the Penguins. You think I'm missing some memory? Which deal are you referring to, 8 feet? Patterson Canvas. I will always defend my Nylander one. Lilligren Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Game jersey of Aho for the Canes. Um, 
Well, I don't think we've ever had a really conversation on the four players taking up a lot. In my opinion, I was on the stance that I would rather two five or six million dollar players over Marner. But I don't think, I really don't think anyone that leaves has a horrible deal. Portraits of McKinnon for the Avalanche. I don't think any of them are overpaid per se. Too, too early. Buchnevich, canvas for the Rangers. So I will stand by that stance. The only, sorry, the only one, I will be honest though. Ty Delandrea, Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. The only one that I was not a massive fan of is the Tavares deal. But I still think Tavares, uh, true Young Guns for the Sharks. I still think Tavares, anyone else would have gave him that deal. So at the end of the day, it's whether we wanted him or not. Bernier Canvas for the Red Wings. Crosby Dazzlers for the Penguins. And a Voracek for the Flyers. Canvas. Do I still think Nylanders? Again, it's perspective of what you guys are looking at. That's, that's what always blows my mind when we have these conversations. Is my, uh, Nylander is almost half the price of Marner's contract. So in my opinion, I'm not saying it's always gonna be that variable, so be clear on that. I would expect half of what Marner produces on a rough estimate. And I don't think Nylander is that far off of half of Marner's production. So, AP, I'm not saying, sorry, are you saying Marner's not good or is overpriced? Joseph Markey, rookie for the Penguins. And sorry, 64 points. When did he have 64 points? Vege Demo, Young Guns for the Habs. Portrait of Yo Levy for the Vancouver Canucks. Leonard Young Guns for the Sharks. Young Guns Canvas Belzil. Uh, Cody, we have done like chancers for boxes. At, at the end of the day, here's the thing I've always said. We're obviously a bit cash strapped right now, no matter how you look at it. Marky rookie for the Vegas Golden Knights of Reed Duke. But if he only had 69, oh wait, that was on. To be fair, how many games did we not get? Rookie materials, Karushev. Because if you're kind of comparing only last year and a shortened season, if it was last year, I feel it's a bit unfair, eight feet. Marky rookie of Ant Whistle for the Hawks. Portrait of McLeod for the Oilers. And a Hoffman for the Panthers. It was his second year. Marky rookie of Ingram for the Nashville Predators. What does second year stats have anything to do with it though? Shea Weber canvas for the Habs. Or am, I, or am I missing something here? Fill up Malay, young guns for the Caps. Peyton Kreps, Marky Rookie Retro for the Knights. Regula for the Hawks. Portraits Rookies of Belzil for the Habs. I was going to say, I don't know what the second year really matters, though. Pui Suter, Young Guns for the Hawks. Canvas of Hamilton for the Canes. Uh, 
Award winners of Makar for the Avalanche. Marky Rookie Blue, Kevaranta for the Dallas Stars. Portraits Rookies of Skinner for the Oilers. Marky Rookie of Ottinger for the Dallas Stars. Canvas of Hedman for the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Bellows for the Islanders. Dowsers. I, I don't disagree with that. Crawley, Young Guns for the Rangers. But to me, Line A's stats, and I might be wrong in this, so call me out if I am. Marky Rookie Red of Sen for the Devils. Line A has, I thought, decreased almost every year in his stats. Whereas Marner was increasing every year in his stats. All I'm trying to say, though, is what justification would you give that Line A should get a million less than Marner at this point? Line A is not producing anywhere near as much as Marner is right now. So, in my opinion, why would you pay him anywhere near $10 million? I just feel like... Now, here's my honest thing. I could see someone giving um, seven or six. Dubnik for the Minnesota Wild. Update. Gansel for the Penguins. Red Limited. SP Essentials of Debrinket for the Hawks. SP Essentials of Mantha for the Red Wings. Our future icons of Pasternak and McAvoy. The only thing is, though, Jeff, his numbers, and, and please let me know if I am wrong. I thought his goal total every year has pretty much gone down or has been trending down. I do think he's capable of 50 goals, but I don't, th I don't know. I feel like a player like Line A, you wouldn't buy... Connor Brown for the Ottawa Senators. I feel like you'd buy low and hope for the high. I don't think you'd pay 10 mil, but I think the chances of it going wrong are much better than the chances of it going right. Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Moments of Crosby for the Penguins. Adam Brooks for the Maple Leafs. Young Guns. Moments of Jack Hughes for the Devils. And again, I'm not trying to be on a hate line. I mean, you know, eight feet. I like line A. I just don't understand what he's done to warrant 10 million. Vegas of Martinez. Update. Strom Red Limited for the Hawks. I agree. Great goal score. Spectrum FX of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. But $10 million, you are putting him in the upper echelon. Taves for the Hawks. Sign of the times for the Oilers, Bill Ranford. Uh, eight feet, though, to be fair. And again, I might be wrong, but I believe Tavares had more goals as a Leaf than Line A ever has in his career in terms of one year. So I think that's a bit of an unfair statement. I would agree going forward, it does not look like Tavares is going to get 50 goals. I agree with that. Future watch auto, Carl Grundstrom. But I'm pretty sure Tavares got like 46 or something. Or 47, so... I might, might have been wrong on that. I, I swear it, folks. Wayne Gretzky winners for the Oilers. Young Guns of Adam Werner for the Avalanche.
47 he had? Yeah. So he's technically, so technically he was tied with uh, Matthews, right? No one's had more than 47? Or did Matthews have 48? I thought he had 47. Well, here's the honest thing, though, eight feet. How many goals did Line A get in his last two years? And obviously, last year was a shortened year, so it doesn't fully attribute it. But what was his last two year stats? Because I feel like that's what most GMs are going to look at. Datsuk and Franzen. So what, what do you have this year, last year, and the year before? For the Red Wings. We've got a Simone Dupre. Jersey Team Canada for the Penguins. Oh, nice. We've got for the Avalanche, Draft Day Marks Auto to 35, Tyson Berry. I will say though, Paul, I, I feel like Marner could be a 20 to 30 goal scorer pretty consistently, which is pretty damn valuable still. On top of his playmaking, I feel like it could be a 30 goal scorer, no problem, not no problem, but could be. We've got an Ashton, uh, I believe Tampa, if someone wants to double check me. Well, all I'm saying though, Jeff, is you can't say that's not the point. You base contracts off their recent performance. If his performance is declining, you don't give him a big contract. Sven Berchi. Authentic rookie auto for the Flames. Like, don't get me wrong. If Matthews last year before his contract, he gets half the goals that he did the previous years, I feel like you got to consider that. You have to consider that. You can't just blindly go, well... What you did several years ago, we're going to pay you for now. But I, I feel like Line A's kind of been on a decline for the last three years. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh! Well, if you base him on potential, then Nylander's deal is honestly a steal, right? Goudreau for the Calgary Flames. Because did Nyl And I might be wrong. What was Nylander's last contract year? How many goals did he have? 99, Dominic Hasek. But I know he got a... I think he got a 30-goal year, did he not? Rookie Redemption, New York Islanders. I, I will always stand by saying I think Lion is one of the best goal scorers in the NHL. Number to 299, Vasilevsky, Tampa Bay. Like, one of the best, uh, like, actual pure goal scorers. 399 of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. But I just don't know if it, it's, it's weird. It's like, I don't know if it's an effort level, a confidence issue, a team issue. 299, Yarmer Yager for the Penguins. I feel like you're just having trouble putting it together, which is sad. For the Coyotes, Jersey patch to 65, Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel. Well, top 1% finishers. Are you looking at, is that just pure goals though, 8 feet? Because like, is a 30 goal score technically part of that, just so I know? And an Orum of Jack Eichel. Jack Eichel. But I'm curious how they get those kind of stats. Or, in all honesty, what that even means. Full force. When was the last time we did one of these? Well, the good news, 8 feet. I think you said he's a UFA this year, right? So I guess we'll find out what he gets, right? We've got a blueprint for the Islanders of Mike Bossy. 
Goal of Brent Burns for the Sharks. It's a confidence issue. I wouldn't be surprised. Goal of Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Blueprint of Voracek for the Flyers. Blueprint of Patan for the Jets. I feel like Winnipeg was a great place for him though, right? He had a lot of good setup guys in uh, in Winnipeg. That is what we're looking for. A rising force. Nine ninety nine. Connor McDavid. Out of curiosity, I want to know what are these even going for? Gotta love it when inserts are going for crazy money. And I'd highly recommend getting this graded, by the way. Hey, Line A is still by far one of the most exciting players when he's on his game. He just needs to get there. Full force freshman of Della Rose for the Habs. Della Rose. Blueprint for the Rangers of Messier. Well, the good news is, Jeff, as long as the world doesn't completely collapse in the next couple years, we will find out what the end of the story is. Thermal Threats, Andrew Hammond. The best cards ever for the sentence. We've got a blueprint of Hopkins for the Oilers. Pitching and batting second. Nice. We've got a draft board of Della Rose for the Habs. Does anyone mind looking up that rising force? I'm just kind of curious what those things are going for. Blueprint of Schneider for the Devils. We've got a draft board of Iserman for the Red Wings. So again, eight feet. I'm glad we could finally end this conversation. Goal of Nestrasil for the Jackets. Or sorry, for the Kings. And all of us agreed that line A sucks. Immediate impact of Bebo for the Leafs. Uh, this is full force. Sick draft board of McDavid for the Oilers. I'm curious what that goes for too. Two McDavid's. And another rising force. Number 999 of Kevin Hayes. Uh, McDavid is 999 like this. I want to know what that draft board goes for. I want to know what the rising force goes for. Just, again, I'm going to use some full force in the next breaks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I want to know what the actual sales... Like, I wouldn't be surprised at this point if that's a multi-hundred dollar card. 270! Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous. Good for Edmonton right there. Draft board's a hundred dollar card. Oh my god. Logan Couture Orange for the Sharks. And an ice premieres of Jimmy Schmal or Schultz. That is nuts. Those cards, I remember we bought one in a lot. We got it for a dollar. We've got a Brock Besser Green. 249 Mario Ferraro for the Sharks. Ice premieres auto to 299. Michael Dow Cole for the Islanders. Michael Dow Cole. 
So, or sorry, green of Barkov for the Panthers. Sub Zero Rookie Auto, Ville Hanoa. Winnipeg Jets, Ville Hanoa. Green for the Jets of Shifley. Nine ninety nine for the Ottawa Senators, Max Verano. Kopitar for the LA Kings. And a four ninety nine flurry for the Habs. Are the Jays supposed to be a top contender this year? Again, I don't really follow baseball too much. Like right now, are they supposed to be an actual like they could win contender, or just they're they're going to be good but not there? Nice. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Rookie Premier's Auto, Eric Stahl. Eric Stahl. So who's, who's the best teams this year then? Who are like the top five that probably one of them will win type thing? For the Boston Bruins, Brad Marchand. Dodgers, Padres. Dodgers by a mile, eh? Hmm. So, Toronto is still not a top three or four or five team, or no? Or kind of that up in the air. They could be, they could not be. For the Habs, Guy Lafleur. Guy Lafleur. For the LA Kings, Matt Wa. 3 Uh We are open tomorrow, yes sir. For the Nashville Predators, Roman Yossi. One ninety nine Roman Yossi. Green. For the Islanders at thirty five, Matthew Barzell. Islanders. Blue. So who is the uh, the Jays bet best player technically right now? We got a Barkov to eighty five. For the Panthers. Like, would it be Bichette? Would it be Springer? Guerrero? For the Vegas Golden Knights, number 85, Green, Nicholas Hag. Hag, Green, Auto for Vegas. We've got another Green for the Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. And we got a uh, cen century momentous of Forsberg for the ads. 265 pound catcher. Holy jeez. That's a big boy. We've got number to 299 exquisite rookie patch, Hudson Fashing. Uh, Gabriel, no, it's, you're talking months and months and months away. <laughs> it is not going to be out for at least a few months. We've got for the Capitals, Alex Ovechkin, 249. For the Penguins, championship rings, Matt Murray. Matt Murray. We've got, oh, I like these cards. 
12 of 25, Team Logo Jumbo's Gold Autograph, Hudson Fashing. Uh, Marcus, I think we actually are getting some in next week. So there might be some breaks. I just got to figure out how I can break it down. But yeah. We may be getting some in. For the Panthers, that's a cool piece. Number to 35, Roberto Luongo. Cannot go wrong with that piece right there. Yeah, so pay attention next week, Marcus. We're going to try to, uh, depending on when the shipment comes in, do some of them next week. So it'll be brilliant. And for the Anaheim Ducks to 99, Ryan Getzlaff. I cannot believe how expensive Prism is this year, though. My God, it's like pretty much most Canadian people I've seen have it for about 3000 bucks. I cannot believe how expensive Prism is nowadays. I guess that's like the new going rate, isn't it? For the Habs, the two ninety nine Della Rose. Jacob Della Rose. Hey, Oscar Hernandez. For the Panthers, Aaron Ekblad. Uh, Paul, I would probably say no. My opinion. Not a rookie, so no. For the Coyotes, rookie team logo jumbos, Max Domi. Max Domi. We've got a signature placards, Brent Burns, San Jose. $3,000, eh, Greg? That's insane. For the Red Wings, the 85 jersey, Zetterberg. Zetterberg. And we've got a 399 rookie, Jack Eichel. So that one I would get graded, yes. Buffalo Sabres. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Are the uh, are the Lamello balls from uh, Prism like selling crazy well, or whoever else is supposed to be selling well in there? Sorry, let me rephrase that. Is it warranting that price tag ish? I understand things are gonna be a little inflated right now, but is it at least like, is there a reason why people are paying that much money for it? Because that is absolutely nuts. For the Islanders, John Tavares. For the Winnipeg Jets, Jack Ross Levick. $3.99. Head coach has to leave because of COVID. Wow. Oh, nice. Number 99, super rookie patch auto for the Hawks, Alex Dabrinkat. Super rookie patch auto, Alex Dabrinkat. For the Coyotes, because it's the old Jets, Dale Howardchuk. And Mark, is that a base prism? Or is that like a silver one? Autograph rookie of Kerfoot for the Avalanche. And we got a triple for the Boston Road to 74, 75. 
Marshawn Bergeron Pasternak. Triple jersey. And for the Flyers, Robert Hag. Premier. 500 for the base. Is he the, the top dog, Marcus, in, the, in terms of sales for Prism, or is there another guy? For the Coyotes, Max Domi. 399. For the Islanders, John Tavares. We've got a super rookie patch auto tribute, Anthony Mantha, 99, Mantha. For the Buffalo Sabres, we've got a premier signature is Ryan O'Reilly. For the Vancouver Canucks, the 99 Signature Award winners of Kessler. 14, 105. Uh, what break is that, Drake? I apologize. I don't know what it is. 199, Tarasenko for the Blues. 199 of Ben for the Stars. Anthony Edwards, okay. Well, as I said, next week, pay attention. Uh, most likely, to be honest, after Black Diamond. But my game plan is, yes, if we get it in, we are going to do it. So, I just don't know how I can break it down. I probably will have to do a, a, a straight-up team 30-whatever spots. Because I feel like it's the best option for that. For the capital, Stevenson. Problem is, it is literally almost like $100 a spot for a team random. Lindbergh, 3 9 for the Rangers. So my worry is, would we actually be able to get that filled? For the Red Wings, Pavel Datsuk, 3 9 SBA, if it's sold out, then we're definitely doing it. For the Habs, numbered 65 of 65, Spectrum Rookie Patch Auto, Mike McCarron. Mike McCarron. We've got a Rinks of Honor Auto for the Flyers of Voracek. Gold auto number to 15 of Svedberg for the Hawks. So going on eight feet on a completely separate uh, conversation. And Pavelski, one and nine for the Sharks. How far are the Jets going to make it this year? What is your prediction as of right now, how far the Jets are going to go? So my pick... And I do have some hope. I feel like the Leafs are a second or third round this year. I actually think they might make the third round. Maybe it's more hope than, uh, than not, but... That is what my heart tells me. Mind you, my heart has told me that Toronto's going to make that second, third round most years. And it fails me. Not if Anderson is a net. Well, I want to know what his prediction is on the Jets. We've got a Bishop 249. Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars a 249. 
Joel Lasparos. Campbell to I agree, Campbell right now is taking his job. I just don't know if Campbell can last. I don't know if he's like a game ready type of guy for that many games going forward. For the Devils! Number to 50, Kyle Paul Mary. Endorsement Relics Patch Auto. Kyle Paul Mary. For the Flyers, 249, Joel Faraby. Beautiful RPA. Faraby. We've got a 249 Hanola for the Jets. He is definitely way overperforming. It's going to balance out for sure. And that's a sexy finish. A one of one rookie printing plate. Kirby Doc. Chicago Blackhawks. Kirby Doc. You know what's funny though, 8 feet? I don't know if we ever had this conversation. But I've ever since he came to Toronto, I legit always said I do think he could be a, like a starter. He, he's never looked bad in net. He's had some bad plays. But like, he's one of those guys I feel like I, I'd be pretty confident with. I just don't know if you could ride him for the year in terms of like, if he's ready for that. And, and to be fair, and going on Jeff's point, I don't think it's actually even possible to keep the pace. Uh, the Farabee, I absolutely would. If you got a Farabee, yes, 100% that Farabee is uh, grade that bad boy for sure. Talk about underrated, doesn't get enough love in the hobby. The thing is, like, how does he keep it? How could he possibly keep what? Like, his GAA in eight games is what? Like 1.4 or something? 249 Matt Duchesne for the Avalanche. It's just hard to forget the first six years of his career. I'm not going to lie, I don't even know where he played the first six years, so I already forgot about that. For the Minnesota Wild, Joel Erickson Eck. 249. Joel Erickson Eck. Ha, <laughs> funny. Number 26. Exquisite rookie patch auto for the Rangers. Jimmy VC. He was a top 10 pick, really? Jeez. Number 26. Exquisite Jimmy VC. We've got a brilliant autograph. I believe it's Chicago. Artem Anisimov. <laughs> What's up, Leon? Anisimov. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Trevor Carrick. 249, Trevor Carrick. And we've got an Islanders, 249, John Tavares. All right, I should be able to do the giveaways in the same video because I have everything ready now. So giveaways will be done three times. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. 14,107. The giveaways top, I think it's five people. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Three times. One, two, three. Bloop. Bloop. The captain goes to stock exchanges. Paul's Belief Gold gets the artifacts. Johnny's got the retail. Trav and Cards gets the allure. Congrats.